Hello, this is Pastor John with my weekly update for all of you today. Well, I'm excited to share that we are in the process of converting to a more interactive, user-friendly church database called Realm. Our communications team spent considerable time researching and planning for this conversion. Over the course of the next few months, we will be testing some of its functions with smaller user groups. Eventually, everyone will have access to their own profile. Please continue to watch for updates and emails. All right, well, in other news, Royal Redeemer will be hosting a blood drive on Friday, December 4th that will go from 9 a.m. to 1.30 p.m. All safety protocols will be in place for this event, and I'd just like you to prayerfully consider joining us in our effort to save lives by donating blood. Sign-up details are on our website, so thank you in advance. If you are itching to volunteer, we have some important volunteer opportunities available as well. First, consider helping with this year's Care and Share Thanksgiving meal. We will need lots of volunteers, especially delivery drivers. Second, we are looking to train some individuals to help spray the pews and chairs in between services with our electrostatic sprayer. You can contact Russ Morley for more information if you're interested in that. Third, we could also use some tech support for our on-site worship services. All ages are welcome, so email George Bruick if you're interested in that area. And then finally, the school office could use some assistance with some projects either before or after school. Contact Heidi Malone if you can lend a hand. Thank you for giving these opportunities your prayerful and thoughtful consideration. Now this weekend, Mark will continue in our series, Refocus, and will share a message called Refocused Influence. From this message, we will learn how we can make a powerful impact in this world as we exercise and maximize our ability to influence others for good and for God. Well, finally, let me just close with a truth worth holding. In Matthew 5, 16, Jesus says, In the same way, let your light shine before others, that they may see your good deeds and glorify your Father in heaven. In his Sermon on the Mount, Jesus shares some of his most challenging teachings. In this particular passage, Christ reminds us that as his people, we are to reflect the light of his power and grace to those around us by the way we act and talk and do life. God wants us to use our influence in a way that'll help light the way for others so that they too can enjoy a love-filled relationship with Jesus Christ. Well, that's it for now. Please continue to check your email, Facebook, and our website for updates. And as always, may God watch over you and your loved ones and keep you in his protection and in good health.